So this is uh, the heat pump that we had installed. Martin McLaren jumped at the chance when his town offered to help set up a greener source of heat. Our house was heated with the electric heat and it well, wasn't very efficient. It's just one of the ways the town of Eniganish is trying to go green, 100%. It's attainable and we know it's attainable. The mayor says right now 84% of Aniganish's energy is renewable. She admits her town has a head start because it has its own electric utility. It also owns a wind farm, which generates 40% of its power. That's 40% we didn't have to buy off of another company. So that enables us to make sure that we're going green. The town is also planning to install electric vehicle chargers and solar gardens. The mayor says all of it will not only help this community achieve emissions goals, but the entire province and the country. One person can make a difference, one block can make a difference, one town can make a difference. We're not a very big town, but this is transformational. The next move is targeting the biggest emissions producer here, St. Francis Xavier University. We double the size of the, of the Anaganish area when our students are back in town. The university has already installed solar panels and geothermal heating in new buildings. The problem is its central heating plant. We use a very dirty fuel source. It's run by uh, Bunker Sea Oil, uh, 2,500 vehicles uh, off the street if we could get rid of it. The plan is to build a new plant powered by the wind farm and hydroelectricity. Most of the plans help the pocketbook too. McLaren says his heat pump saved him $500 in the first four months. I think it's great. It's a great thing, um, you know, to for this small town like that we are to, uh, to try to be leaders um, within our country. There are other Canadian communities with similar goals. Aniganish is happy to be in the race and welcomes healthy competition for the greater good. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Aniganish, Nova Scotia.